So I'm parked here on the side of Route 159, just before the uh, entrance to uh, the Blue Diamond community, but on the uh, hill side of the road. This is the first hill if you're coming from Blue Diamond Road, and this will be the first uh, major wash on the right as you're driving up. And as you can see, there is a quite a fence around this wash here, so I'm not sure quite the best way to get in it. We'll have to walk along the fence until we find a gap or slip under it little bit of wayfinding to find a way that wasn't all full of hickey bushes. There seemed to be some old old tire road here, old dirt road. It kind of brings you into the canyon. And this seems to be the easiest way and you just have to keep looking until you find it. Don't try to go the direct way. And then you go straight into the canyon like this. Let's see the time here. Time is almost six o'clock. So it looks like we have a very shaded canyon at six o'clock just at the beginning of July here. There is a decent amount of thorny bushes here, so you may want to bring some clippers to clip little picky branches out of your way if you come this way. So this is definitely a class to scramble. Not just a straight walk in, but you don't need any, you're not pulling yourself up with your hands or anything. You just watch your footing as you go. Amounts of stairs here and you just before I keep going, looks like there's some forks here. I'm just staying on the main wash. Fortunately, we've got a beehive right in the middle of the trail. So I'm going to opt for climbing alongside the wall here. Just staying way clear of these bees. This wash has no shortage of little seashell fossils. Pretty much everywhere around here. There's another seashell fossil. There's another seashell fossil. There's another seashell fossil. They're literally everywhere here. Another seashell. Another seashell. Another seashell. More seashells, seashells, they're just everywhere. The canyon does occasionally widen and narrow. So far I haven't had too much trouble, just a lot of bushes in the way. No unusual uh, scrambling required so far. Well, I appear to come across a water tank here. We had some monsoons a few days ago, so it wasn't that long, but we had a really good rain out here. Um, there are ways around this, but I may just wait and come back later when this is dry. You can always just walk along the ridge and come back down, but it's just not worth it right now, I don't think. I think I'm just going to use this water tank as my turnaround point. And as I'm walking down here, I notice that I'm guessing those are red rock 